Jeanette and Dean here and welcome back to our channel. Alrighty, so we've finished the putting the wire at the top of the fence of the mesh, mesh fencing and we haven't got any further down the block that we want but the grass is so long we just tried to walk down on that side but was way too long so now Dean's slashing along the fence line so hopefully we can we can slash down there we just went down there looks like it's too steep so it's heading back we need to abort that mission <laughs> that job is a little bit too risky So we've rung the neighbour uh, because there's a bush gate down there. Just, we've taken Ruby down through our neighbour Rob's property. Not sure what Rob's on. Can hear them and can just start to see glimpses of them. Not sure if the camera's picking it up. There's the neighbour on a 4x4. The neighbour's just headed off and looks like he's going to go through the bush gate now and do our side. We have walked the fence line this morning. It's a bit tricky. It's very hilly, so it's not easy just to um, get the car there. I actually want to do what I did when I was a kid. You get a piece of, like a cardboard box, and you slide down the hill <laughs> and just about die. <laughs> jump on a cardboard box. Or a gay cat. On yeah, true. Halfway down the hill, Ruby sitting right at the top there. Still got a ways to go. So we're at the bottom of the hill, and, that was tense. and you can see, I'm not sure if the camera picks it up, but there's the house right up there. Very steep. Nice and peaceful down here. So there's a bush gate which we need to close up now and then we wanted to check this fence out because that's the fence we did up the top there and so this is the next section we need to work on. We're hoping we don't have to replace any of these posts that we can just put the mesh fencing on there. Anyway, we're going to walk along and see. It's probably a couple of acres, this paddock. So we will fence where we walk down, where that's been slashed, we'll fence there. And then this will be the first paddock for the gates. It's okay. I mean, it's okay. 
You could put a star picket there as well. That one's solid. Yeah. Top wise tension, so. Alright. I mean, I think this one here, up, like right up the top, I might have cut accidentally. Yep. But, um, you did cut one of them. Yeah. So we should be able to then just string the, string the um, exclusion fencing on. Yep. It's got the little crimping thing, so just crimp it onto the tension um, wire. Uh -huh. There's a couple of small trees close to the fence, which will be pain in the butt trying to get the mesh fencing along the fence line so we're just going to clean up the fence line as I said before Dean did the um, grass area yesterday and so we'll just cut down a couple of these small trees that are going to get in the way we were thinking we we're going to keep this one but if it does drop it'll take our fence down there's plenty of trees for shade yeah there's heaps First one to go. See, there's just a few little trees. They're not big ones apart from that first one. ends but because it's going around a post we just wrap this around with the clip and then that then the chain just hooks into here into these teeth with great ease it's very simple <laughs> why do you swear every time you use that thing oh, it's not simple I hate it no. and then yeah, put it on this side so then basically we can, we'll just pull this up and then undo the bit that's already there and then just wrap it back around to tighten it up again.
we have this fencing still sitting out the front but because it comes in 500 meter lots it's very heavy not easy to manage we have put the um, forks on Ruby she will pick up the fencing so we can stretch it out what we're going to do is actually take Ruby down to the top fence line the very corner and then uh, we'll have the fence on the front of Ruby and then we can just wind it down the, and the hill of course gravity will just help, help us along but last time we rolled this out on the spike it didn't roll very well so we're just putting this round steel post on it hopefully that'll help it roll better And the theory is, the fencing will roll down the hill that way. It's working! Run! <laughs> We just pulled the fence, the netting the whole way down, uh, walked up this hill twice. I think I said before we're going to attach it to the barbed wire. About where Dean is, is where it goes from flat to start heading up the hill. We think we're going to need to put a strainer post in there because these are, I'm not sure what you call them, half posts or quarter posts or something. Anyway, it's not tension down there. So it is Sunday, can't go to the rural supplies. So I think we're going to clip it first. Everybody's pooped. Can't feel the wind in here. By the time we got to this section we were absolutely shattered so we had uh, done all the way down and we just had this little bit of a section to go we were just going to pop that up and then that was going to be it we weren't going to tension it that was going to be for another day uh, we were all too shattered we just wanted to go and have a beer Hey, here we are. This is one of the ways out from our place. This is one of the floodways. And uh, yeah, I think this is actually the bottom of Pierce's Creek. So we'll go back up and have a look at the creek at our place. 
later on. We're just going to go and see the two different directions that this is one way of art for us to get out to town, sort of. And then we'll go and have a look at the other floodway. There's a few, oh, a log floating down. <laughs> wow, it's insane. But now the weather has passed. But yeah. There you go. <clears throat> so there's no way we're getting out this side if we needed to. So here we are at the other end of our exit. <laughs> and no way out of here either. It's been flooded here a couple of times. So it's sort of reasonably common, I think. Well, not common, but when it rains, big time. It seems to flow through here, all right, it's only 0.6. And last time I think Jeanette was here one night after a big storm it was 0.6 as well so but yeah there's no way you're getting through there if it's flooded forget it well, we just thought we'd come out and have a bit of a look anyway just to see what it looks like from the perspective of you know getting out of our place or not getting out of our place at the moment, not getting out of our place. <laughs> yeah, if you, <laughs> I think at one stage maybe it's in the videos or not. Dead tree, dead tree graveyard. Dead tree graveyard. This is where we normally would drive across, <laughs> over there. Yeah, and I think um, just there, over my right shoulder is where we probably were playing around and we did some video and took some photos of the, of the creek when it was flowing. <laughs> okay. This is what it actually looks like when it's flowing. Wow. And it's... Uh, it's pretty dangerous at yeah, the moment. It's pretty amazing. It's water dangerous. It's pretty crazy. The last four days have been quite eventful. Quite wet. Not what we're used to here. <laughs> no, never thought we'd see uh, 350 plus mils of rain in a week, that's for sure. We now have three full dams and a creek that's uh, gone from just a few puddles and basically a dry creek bed with a few puddles to one day, two days ago, we had rapids. <laughs> yeah, well we've still got rapids. water rapids. They're still there, you can hear them. There they are. Down there. It's as, it's, as it's gone down, the rapids have appeared before that when it was really hot. Because it was about maybe three metres higher than where it is now. I think because it was so deep there. There was no rapids, but now as it's dropped down there's little rapids. Because there's lots of rocks. Anyway, uh, we shall show you what's unfolded over the last few days. Yeah, be prepared for lots of water. Woohoo! <laughs> 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 Just what's amazing the difference that a couple of days and a couple of hundred mil make. Brilliant. Here we are down in the bottom paddock or the dam paddock, whatever you want to call it. Dam paddock. <laughs> the cattle yard paddock. There's the little dam. You hear the frogs? Crazy, so many of them. There we go, there's our main, main dam in the front house, or the front paddock. 
main dam. <laughs> yeah, she's a big dam. I never thought I would see it full, to be honest. And it's full. How amazing. How amazing. Oh my god. Wow. That leaky dam there. Is it really slowing it down? Mm, it's debatable. <laughs> Looks like it's just going straight through it. So if you've been watching any of our videos, you'll know that this is the area where we drive Pearl, the ute. We usually drive Pearl through here and across to the other side. Wowzers. Wow. Looking a whole lot calmer than yesterday. Comes up quick and drops fairly quickly as well. This was absolutely torrential yesterday. White water rapids. Over here, we now have a sandy beach. Beach. I have to remove the big log out of it to make it a real beach. <laughs> so I'm going to go over there and I'm going to pan for gold. Go for it. I reckon there's gold in that sand. <laughs> if I find it, it's mine. The rain has stopped. It stopped sometime yesterday. It's moved further down. Um, so now like places like Brisbane are flooded and, and moving down into northern New South Wales.